Today we have a cool update on Bethesda's new game Starfield which comes out later this year on the 11-11-2022 and this is in the form of what is believed to be their collector's edition watch, the official Starfield watch. Look at this, it shows the moon face. And Reddit user Squiddy Von has actually found the entire instruction manual to this watch. So we can actually look at everything in real life it's going to be tracking from temperature, the moon phase, and other cool things like this. And I also believe that this watch is going to have a in-game application. So we can figure out what kind of stats are going to be tracked in the game as well as in real life. But this Starfield watch manual was published by The Wand Company. And this is the same company that makes all of the official Fallout product range for Bethesda. Everything from the Fallout 76 Pip-Boy construction kit, the light-up display panel, the radio module, and lots of other cool Fallout merch that you can get officially licensed by Bethesda. So this is 100% legit. But talking about Bethesda, this video is sponsored by G Fuel the sugar-free energy drink. And they actually have Bethesda-themed flavors like spicy demonade. They even have sour demonade as well. So if you want to check out the Bethesda flavors, use the link below and you can use code ESO this weekend for 30% off your order as well. So to quickly bring you guys up to date, this is the official Starfield watch that was released as part of the Constellation program, which is basically a group of survivors that are exploring space for the first time. And that's going to be like the start of the narrative story of Starfield when we make our character and enter the game. This is the official collector's box for the watch. We don't know if that's also going to have the game in as well, or if the watch is going to be sold separately as a additional collector's item. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this alongside the June Starfield gameplay reveal. In fact, this same box was also teased as well in the official Starfield trailer. And here you can see the contents of what this watch actually does. So obviously you can turn it on, you can turn it off. It's a smartwatch. Uh, the main clock and interface explained. Sunrise, sunset and moon phases. Really oddly specific sensor data, weather data, notification, porch mode, which is really cool. So clearly just like the Pip-Boy light. So when you actually turn on the watch, this is what happens. It goes on, you can see the constellation program symbol, and then it comes up with this crazy looking UI HUD, which you'll also recognize from the leaked screenshot. So clearly there's a cross-reference between game and real life and this watch. Interestingly, when you turn it off, it just says power off, and then it displays apparently a random phrase or quote saying goodbye in different languages or a classic parting quote from a well-known sci-fi tv show and film i don't know if it's going to have references to starfield itself as well but that's quite a fun gimmick i really like that idea so now i'm going to explain to you how this ui actually works Firstly, we have the outer ring of the watch face. This basically shows you the time as this white icon goes around that shows you the time of day it currently is. It also has some of the button functions for that screen that is in the center. So now we have this inner ring and you can see there's like a finish line just here and then there's a man walking. This is basically how close you are towards your daily step target. However, in game, we already know from the leaked screenshots that this says oxygen levels and CO2 levels, and that's going to be calculating that, which is obviously much more important in game than in real life. This little line in the middle here is going to show how much battery you have left in your smartwatch. And this red or blue dot underneath it is going to represent if you're connected to Bluetooth. You can also see that there's one, two, three, four buttons on the outer edge of this watch. Top right button is going to show you your current notifications. And just here we see what the notification screen looks like. The bottom right button is going to take you to the date and time interface. The bottom left is going to take you to the sunrise and moon phase screen, which does look very exciting. Obviously, we don't live in space, so I guess the moon phase is a relevant real life thing to track. You've got the uh, the sunset and rising times here. You can also click the screen so it shows you the sunrise for the next day. And then we have the top left button, which is going to take us to the barometer readings. Now you can see here we have a barometer which measures vertical changes. Apparently, it's... Oh, God. So they said apparently that the temperature is very accurate, even going down to 0 0.01 decimal of measurement however it's also taking into account you know your wrist the backlight of the watch and also the internal mechanics which cause heat 
So it's not going to be like super accurate to measuring the external temperature, if that makes sense. You can also toggle the screen to show you the atmospheric pressure, humidity, and precipitation chance. All this data is pulled from your phone, by the way. The watch isn't like calculating that. Like, I guess if you get a notification from WhatsApp, it might come up on here. But as you can see, the screen is pretty low resolution. It's not like an Apple Watch or something. So I don't know what kind of price range this is going to add on to a collector's edition if that's what it's sold at. Okay, so this 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 one is this is torch mode. Okay. That, that that's what it looks like your screen it, i guess it's like me turning my phone to max brightness um that is actually a little bit disappointing i mean i i guess even if my my watch had like a torch in it and i could like shine my torch at people it would be a bit of a pointless feature maybe it'd be cooler if it had like a laser pointer in it. i don't know but like yeah i don't know what i expected for the torch feature but i'm a little bit disappointed but yeah i mean that's the torch feature i guess it would be quite good for like doing things in the dark and then of course finally we have the settings menu very exciting stuff here and it'll actually say the model lpv6 and also the firmware that it's using and chronomark smartwatch 2022 bethesda softworks a Zenimax media company all rights reserved so let me know your gut feeling are you going to 100 buy the starfield watch or are you going to wait and see what the price is are you just not interested you'd rather have another smartwatch what do you guys think in the comment section? Let me know. I, I don't know. I, I'm excited, but it's Starfield. It's Bethesda. So I'm just like such a hype boy. But don't forget to grab yourself some G Fuel while it's 30% off from the link below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. And goodbye.